Hey guys, this is Eduardo Lardo Plays again with the Ionic 5. So now, um, it's been a while since I did a video because there was really nothing I needed to show you guys. Um, I might do a, you know, it's been two years since I got the car, two and a half years, um, so I might do a two and a half year review and impression, but uh, so far so good. So today I actually finally pulled the trigger on the V2L adapter that, um, uh, it, it was way too expensive to buy <laughs> previously, and I it was always out of stock as well at the dealership, so I just never bo bothered buying it. Um, I know there's also a third-party Electron V2L adapter, um, but obviously that's a third-party, and I think you know it's pretty cool having an OEM uh, Hyundai adapter. So um, it was out of stock, and I I went for a service today, and uh, they had it, so I was like, okay, I'll, I'll pick it up. It was $400 Canadian. They did give me a 20% discount. Um, but if it's, uh, you know, original price, it would be $500 Canadian. So uh, this is it. This is the V2L connector. Basically what the V2L connector, sorry, V2L adapter, what does it do? It basically plugs into the charger port of the car. And then you can actually plug anything in there to charge your own uh, devices. So you can charge your switch. You can charge your... Uh, cell phone, maybe have an electric stove while you're camping. Um, so pretty cool stuff. Um, but for the price, you can probably get a pretty dang good generator. I mean, it is $400 Canadian, but I mean, it's a small thing and it works with the car. So it's a pretty good feature that not every EV has. So you might as well use it, right? So as you can tell, um, it looks pretty similar to your level one charger that they provide. Um, you have the, the cap right here. It just looks like the regular charger, right? Um, so what you need to do um, at the back, so it just says, so here's the instructions, just Korean, but um, there's also like English and Chinese and Spanish and German and French and stuff. So you're all good to there. But um, basically you, um, I don't know if you can see this, but open the hatch, plug in your thing, plug into the charger port and then press the button, um, the power button right here. And then the light should turn on and then it should be charging. So um, if you open this here, that's where you put the, the plug um, and this is this material is a little uh, what do you call it like it's like gaskets um, so you can actually close this up and then put your the wires will just come right through so it's not like a hard plastic there's um, this is the power button right here um, the electron one doesn't have a power button um, so that's something to note um, so power buttons nice you can leave it plugged in and just press it off and on the the power button as you wish so let's follow the step two instruction I just brought a phone all right, so let's try. Let's try plugging it in. Okay, sorry guys, I'm doing this with one hand, but um, let's open it up first. So let's uh, let's plug this in. Let's try it out. Let's press the power button right here. Okay. It's a green light. Indicating it's probably charging and let's check out the phone oh, You can't see it, but uh, uh It's a little too bright, um, but It is charging you can trust me. There's a little charging uh, Charger thing there. Um, it is it says fast charging as well. So good. Okay, so it works. So it's pretty easy pretty easy stuff So it just plugs it in uh, you don't need to turn on the car or anything. I didn't turn on the car um, and I guess it's, uh, you know, blinking lights, meaning it's taking energy, right? So, um, it's pretty cool. So if I maybe close it, turn it off. All right, cool. Um, so light, the light is off and we're good to go. Okay. Let me see if I can unplug this. Okay, cool. It is locked. All right. So even if it's not on, on, of course. So. This is locked. Um, so similar to your level one charger, you probably have to unlock the car uh, or get close to it to even pull this out so people don't steal it. Very smart. Um, I guess you can turn this. Oh, this is kind of hard with the thing, eh? Okay, this might not work. You might not be able to close it because the, the wire is coming out from this way. But I assume if it's a regular plug, you can just clip that on. Um, yeah, I mean, people might steal your electronics because that's not locked, but at least the V2L um, is locked. So. Let's try it to take it out. I'll turn off the button. I'll unlock my car, just like a level one charger. And there we go. And uh, I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, but um, when I pull it out, it feels like, sorry, it sounds like when 
the level one charger is pulled out as well. Or when you plug it in, there's a click sound uh, indicating the car is, um, I guess, using the big battery, either charging it or using the energy from the battery. So a pretty cool thing. So this would be really nice for camping. Um, is, I'm very excited. The only reason I bought this was actually, um, I actually did get a campsite for September, uh, sorry, August. So I was gonna try this uh, in website. So, all right, yeah. So that's the V2L adapter, the official one from Hyundai. It comes with instructions with the adapter itself and a nice little box that will probably fit in your frunk or underneath your trunk. So if you have any questions, comments, or likes, uh, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you want me to test anything, uh, I'm actually not sure what the specifications are, how much load you can take, but um, you can probably find that online. If you want me to test anything, I'm happy to do so. Uh, any other questions, uh, feel free to comment below. So thanks you for watching Eduardo Lower Plays. This is the video for the V2L Vehicle to Load Adapter, official OEM adapter from Hyundai. Thanks everyone.